I can't wait to make another Stranger Things filming locations vlog with all these locations from season five. What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. So today I'm talking about all of the new locations slash sets that we know of in Stranger Things season five so far. But before I do that, be sure to hit that like button and comment down below how you think these new locations are going to play into the show. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to help reach my goal of 150,000 subscribers here on the channel, only a lot. And if you wanna watch Stranger Things with me, you can do so on my Patreon. My commentary tracks for all of seasons one, two, and three are out now and I'm working my way through season four. And if you guys become a patron at the $5 tier right now, you will be entered into a giveaway to win a Stranger Things Funko Pop, a Disney 4K Steelbook, and a movie poster. There's only about 35 spots left to enter that giveaway. All you have to do is become a patron at the $5 tier and you will be entered into the giveaway, but also you'll gain access to all my Patreon exclusive content, including my commentary tracks for Stranger Things. So consider becoming a Filmstock patron today. Your support over there truly does mean the world. So with the new season of Stranger Things comes new places in Hawkins. Every single season of the show has introduced some new locations, many of which would go on to play key roles such as the Creel House or Starcourt Mall in season three. And from all the raw stuff or behind the scenes posts on Instagram to photos dropping online from paparazzi, we have seen a handful of new locations already at play in this final season. Now we don't know what roles they will have, but I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about the three main locations that we know are new to this show in this final season. This first location I'm talking about could very well be the next iconic Stranger Things location, and that is the radio station, more specifically WSQK radio station. We've seen various photos from afar online of this building. Part of it is physical, but then there's a part of the structure that I believe will be CGI'd in post-production to make the tower part of this building. But regardless, we've seen photos from the inside and outside of this set. This photo of Will Byers looks like it takes place within this setting. We know Steve has been in here as we know the photo of his shoes match the wall in the background. We've even seen a photo of the Duffers trying to figure out the perfect shot on a staircase in this location. So it's going to play a pivotal role. In fact, there's a WSQK radio van that also seems to be a new vehicle in this final season of the show, as we've seen set photos of what looks like Joyce driving around in it, and it's been in the background of some of these paparazzi photos as well. But perhaps the most notable thing we've seen from this location so far is a paparazzi video and photos of Millie Bobby Brown who plays Eleven on this rooftop with Finn Wolfhard who plays Mike. And we can't really make out the context of the scene. Some people have speculated this is a breakup scene or a scene of them saying, let's take a break and just be friends while others are saying it's just a typical Malevin scene of Mike and Eleven talking out whatever's going on in their lives right now. It's hard to say, but we know they're gonna have a scene on the roof of the WSK radio station at some point. We don't know when in the scene Season, but we do know Millie Bobby Brown has long hair in the video and photos, meaning it is sometime after the events of the end of season four, likely post time jump, as we do know there's going to be a time jump this season. The radio station's probably gonna play an integral part in the main gang's plot to take down Vecna. As we know, radio as a whole is gonna play a larger role in this final season. There's also books about voltage. We have a photo of Steve's car with an antenna on top. So sending out a signal or being at a location with a lot of power or a radio signal is gonna be important somehow. And that's why I'm thinking this could be their base camp, but also it could very well just be a location where they're trying to figure out a plot to take down Vecna. But it's safe to say the WSQK radio station could be the most significant new location of the bunch. The next one, however, is a farm slash barn set that we don't really have many photos of, but it could be McCorkle Farm, as we do know they're likely going to head here in this season because we have a previous gift from the Duffer Brothers where it's titled McCorkle Farm. This has me thinking we're probably heading back into the tunnels from season two. The Duffers are on record saying there are a lot of season two vibes in season five. Again, we have no clue what's happening here. This could be like a Brimborn Steelworks type of location where Vecna is camped out. Like we really don't know. It's going to play some role though. I think it'll be minor compared to these other two locations. And this last new major location that we've seen is a mansion that we don't know much about. It's just a huge house, almost comparable to Mayor Larry Klein's house in season three of Stranger Things. They've been doing lots of filming here recently. Apparently the house is somewhere near or around Stone Mountain, Georgia. And I have no clue what role this house will play. We don't even know what characters have really been seen filming here. You can't really see what exterior shots they're filming in like the front yard patio area. So I'm wondering, is this a new character's home or is it some government figure's home? Such as a mayor or some military presence. Like who knows what this is? This next part's probably really far-fetched, but it could be like a community home for our main characters. We know that Hawkins was in shambles at the end of season four and if things have just gotten worse since 
since the Upside Down merged in at the end of season four, maybe every character just had to fend for themselves and move in, or it could just be some sort of abandoned mansion that they have to go to to investigate a clue to take down Vecna. It's really hard to say. But we do know the WSQK radio van has been parked outside of this home. They could be going back and forth between the radio station here. They could be trying to send signals between the two or connect the two locations somehow in whatever plan they have thought up. Again, we don't have much to work with when it comes to the mansion set pick. I'm hoping we get like an official set pick from the Duffer Brothers detailing more of what this is or at least giving us some interior shots or exterior shots with main characters. But in terms of the new sets or locations that are going to play a big role this season, this is pretty much all we have. Very curious to see what Ross Duffer could unveil to us before season five comes out. I'm sure we'll get some hints at new locations in set picks from his Instagram account. And of course, we know the staple locations of Hawkins will play a big role, such as Hawkins High School, downtown Hawkins, and other landmarks that are frequented throughout Stranger Things. The question I ask is, what will be the location of Stranger Things season five? For example, it was the Creel House in season four, and season three, it was Starcourt. And like seasons one and two, the school is kind of like the landmark. What will it be in season five? I'd put my money on the radio station because it seems like a lot of important scenes are going to be filmed here. Plus the building itself might actually serve an integral role in the main plot. So I would bet this radio station is going to be the new significant location that becomes iconic from season five, as of right now at least. I'm sure there's plenty of tricks up the Duffer's sleeve still, and they have a lot of new locations they're hiding from us. But one thing I'm really curious to see is will they explore new locations within the Upside Down? I think they have a lot in store for us. Patience is key, but we really have been fed by Ross Duffer over the past 14 or so weeks. And I can't wait to see what other new locations and new plot points will arise in season five. But that is it for this Stranger Things video detailing the new locations we've seen so far in season five. I'll talk more about new ones as they get announced, so make sure to subscribe if you have not already. But that'll do it for this video. And if you guys want to watch Stranger Things with me, you can do so on my Patreon. I have commentary tracks for all of seasons one, two, and three, and I'm currently working my way through season four. And if you guys join the Patreon community at the $5 tier right now, you will be entered into a giveaway where you could win a Stranger Things Funko Pop and other cool prizes. There's only about 35 slots left, so I encourage you to join the Patreon community today to be entered into the giveaway, and also your support over there means the world. But that'll do it. Thank you guys, as always, for watching, and until next time, I'll see you on the other side of the Upside Down.